Hello. So I was asked recently how I got into the trades and uh, figured I'd do a quick video. Might be worth it. So I grew up in a family with a lot of blue collar workers. Uh, my father was a teacher, but uh, everyone else in the family had some sort of specialty trade or not. Uh, my grandfather is the person who taught me a lot of things of what to do and also someone not to do. Um, but uh, between my grandfather, both my uncles, and all my cousins, um, all being involved in the trades, that pretty much led me to sort of be where I am. Everyone pushing me along um, over the years, teaching me young. I probably got started with tools when I was about five years old. Um, got a table saw at 10 you know, and was able to use it with no problems. Um, probably a little young, but uh, I had built my first shop, which was a 12 by 12 uh, shed on my parents' property. And uh, my dad helped me build it. And it was my original small shop. Uh, I guess this is about twice the size of that used to be, but uh, I've had bigger shops, but this one, uh, this one works for me for now. Uh, I'd rather not have like huge rent checks and everything that I have to write out to have a bigger space and being able to work here on my own schedule makes a lot more sense. So growing up, teenagers always did uh, trade work, um, worked in a restaurant, worked in a hardware store, worked in a, a uh, pharmacy, kind of did a little bit of everything over the years. My dad always pushed me to do, try different things, make sure I wanted to do something that I wanted to do. The... Uh, when I got out of high school, I went to college, uh, did business, uh, graduated with a double business major, went into computer work for years, um, did that to also put myself through college. And after that, uh, a couple years later, I just started to tire of sitting at a desk. I was about 30 to 40 pounds overweight and wasn't enjoying my life. Started doing handyman work on the side just because it was easy to do on the weekends and stuff like that. And then over time, I uh, got my license to do contracting. And that led to a, uh, you know, more bigger and bigger jobs over, over time. I always had guys that were older than me working for me, um, which taught me more stuff. I had a, a great lead carpenter for a while who taught me a lot. And uh, then when I uh, moved back to Jersey uh, after... Uh, after about 10 years living down in the D.C. area uh, and doing historic stuff down there and other things, now back in Jersey, I decided to stay a little smaller, not do the big G.C. stuff, and uh, focus on what I really enjoy, which was uh, finished carpentry and um, ca custom cabinet work and custom small projects and furniture, um, which has led me here. And that's why I got my shop running again uh, this past year with COVID and everything involved with that has led to a lot of shop time and a lot of uh, worrying nights of being out here trying to organize things and make myself productive for when we could get back to work and work, you know, morning, noon, and night again. Um, right now, I'm currently booked out months in advance for work, which is a great feeling, but also a very troublesome feeling because you never know what's going to happen with the future. But uh, yeah, that kind of led me to here. So I've been about 20 years doing this, um, you know, 15 of which full time. And, you know, been doing it since I'm 10 years old. So, you know, doing small jobs back then and everything. So yeah, that's how I got here. And uh, I enjoy it. I have two girls that I enjoy showing them how to do stuff so they're not reliant on a man down the road. Um, but, uh, if they don't want to do it, I'm not here to push them. Uh, they can do whatever they want. Uh, I'm, my father never pushed me and, uh, I'm here and enjoying what I do. I uh, wish, you know, like everything, I wish I made more money, but, uh, you know, it comes in time and, and it comes with the certain jobs. You know, you definitely had to take time to find the jobs that you really want to work for and the customers you really want to work with, um, to get to a good point. But uh, I'm here, I have a lot of nice customers now, um, and I love doing what I'm doing, and i uh, going to try to start making some videos here and there on how I do things. I'm sure you'll see more coming from my channel soon enough. Uh, I am trying to uh, get better and better at these videos, but uh, 
hang on, hang on for the ride. Please subscribe. I appreciate it. And have a good day.